Pokey Pokey. <laughs> now, what what happened then was I accidentally went back in the building, which I really did not mean to do, and then uh, <laughs> accidentally went back in the building. So then when I quit to go to New York, I now ended up all the way back up here. So. That was, that was after I played through half of that mission again and then realised all I had to do was uh, go on the pause menu and go return to New York, so... <laughs> Whoopsie, so, but as a result it now means I'm all the way back up here again, which is not at all what, what I wanted. So... Let's be the Green Goblin, I do fancy being the Green Goblin. Kind of enjoyed him being the last being Goblin last time. And... Who else shall we be? Falcon! Because there's some Falcon punches that I have... Uh, not how I'm still yet to complete. But let's do this jump off here at the same time because otherwise I know if I, if I fly off here then Falcon's never, we're never going to see him again. So, as always, DEATH FROM ABOVE! Yeah, because we all know what happens when I fly off the top of the heli carrier. Then the other character just stays up there like some sort of lemon. And, oh, there goes my two, there goes my two players. I'm just down to the one. Accidentally switch between characters and then have to restart the whole mini mission again. And we all know we don't want to go down that road again. Well, that was god awful. <laughs> that was really bad. That was the same day that Frozone lost his face and his arms. It was not a good day. But I have learnt one thing in accidentally doing that. I realised that if you walk, I thought that if you walked back into one of these, like a after you had completed them, it would then be free roam. But no, it does not count as free roam unless you actually uh, sort of click on it. And then go on free play. Because obviously it just automatically puts you back in story again. So if you want to go on there and get free play. You have to actually make sure you click on free play. Because otherwise it automatically just puts you back in the story again. But speaking of the story. Let's go up there to the Daily Bugle. Oh, sorry random civilian. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Death from above and all that. I was expecting a kaboom from that. Yeah but let's head over to the Daily Bugle. Because now I'm not such a... <laughs> such a moron and I know how to and I realise that I can actually complete the game and it wasn't a glitch let's, uh, let's go complete the daily bugle because I've been told that you unlock Agent Coulson when you uh, you do that daily bugle yep 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 that's what we want looks like we are going down come on Gobby, Gobby I'm sure you've uh, attacked the daily bugle enough times to know where it is with more tales from the pool. Over at the Daily Bugle office, Agent Cool for School is making sure Doc Ock cleans up the mess he made. Ah, you kids better clean up this mess or I'll tell everyone your middle name is Olivia and you buy all Nick Fury's eye patches. Hey, you got a vacuum cleaner on one of those arms? Shall we start to clean up this mess? What an insufferable indignity for such a superior intellect. Well, I suppose when you think about it, it's not actually a bad thing that I have to do this one again. Because it means if I'm in the Daily Bugle again, it just means I get to do more impressions of J. Jonah Jameson. Parker! Why are you here to help clean up this mess? Look at all your friends here. Oh, Gwen says you aren't me. Oh, uh, old Robbie over there. Uh, where's Parker? <laughs> actually, I'll say that. He's right there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's, let's try and speed run this. We've all seen me go through and do this before, so there's no reason to drag it out talking about stuff. Let's just see if we can speed run this. I was going to say, I think Doc Ock's going to smash this stuff up a bit quicker, but he seems a bit erratic in his smashing. I don't think he knows where he wants to hit. Was it damaged in the attack? Um, yeah. And so is my private jet. Can I get a new one? Don't worry. Want me to print you a signed photo of me? Six dollars each. Hey, Doc. You want to help clean that window? Very well. I shall prove that even my cleaning skills are superior to all. Alright, Doc. Enough of the superior jokes now. We get it. You're superior Spider-Man. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't, uh, if this stuff wasn't damaged in the initial attack, the way Dog Hawk's going at it right now, it's definitely gonna get damaged now. Come on, just smash the. Okay, let's just get Colson to do it. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you don't smash things effectively, Doc. You get, you get a Colson gun to the face. Build, Doc. Build away. It's what you're good at, after all. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the main frame. Let's put some fill around the left side. A little bit of fill around the right side. Yeah, this window's going to look good as new. In no time. Doesn't exactly fit in with the old, uh, the rustic aesthetic of how it normally looks. But uh, it's getting the job done. Get me to my desk. I've got public figures to undermine and employees to overwork. Should we inform Jameson that uh, Deadpool's currently at his desk? <laughs> Not sure if he's so in there. Uh, so enthusiastic about returning to his desk if we knew. I will be collecting these gold studs though. Gotta be getting that true believer award. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I haven't placed the window in yet, have I? That might come in handy. you've collected enough Lego studs to earn true believer status. I don't know who keeps leaving them everywhere. All I know is that I want them. You're damn right, Excelsior. Radio, radio, moment of truth. <laughs> Once I've gone ahead and destroyed all this stuff that's... I don't know if this stuff's in my way, but I, I just kind of like destroying stuff. Once I got ahead and destroyed all this, though, it's a uh, moment of truth time to see if I can actually get Doc to open these doors. After uh, my disgraceful performance last time. Look at Colson go! Fist of Fury! See, all we need is a bit of Shepard's Nova Blast. That would that were destroy <laughs> destroyed this desk in no time. Okay, Ock, oh, you're supposed to be destroying the desk, not uh, Agent Coulson there. He's kind of helping you with this. Actually, if anything, the only one cleaning up is Doc Ock. Coulson just seems to be destroying more stuff. Radio, radio, let's get this desk out of the way and let's see if. Uh, this is gonna work. I've got a feeling it already is because a lot of you guys told me the same thing and I feel pretty stupid. Because I remember completing this once before as well which must have mean I figured it out last time. Oh man alive, I am such an idiot. I really am. <laughs> and the stupid thing is, as I said, I remember completing that once before. I thought it was just a glitch that had happened since then. No, no, it just turns out I'm an idiot and couldn't figure out the same task twice in a row. You know, Colson, you've been destroying a hell of a lot of stuff. I think this one's up to you to uh, clean this. The vacuum cleaner to clean up trash pile. Press A to move forwards and B to reverse. That is, <laughs> I'll try and clean up this trash if the uh, the old game doesn't want to glitch. Um, if my PBR doesn't want to break, cut out at the same time. Colson, you're gonna. And now I'm now I'm not gonna figure out how to move <laughs> use this, am I? The vacuum cleaner, the free trouser, press A to move forward and B to reverse. Oh, oh my lord, I really, I, what is with me today? I really am a moron. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, oh, I'll clean up all this trash first, and then I'll find out what the, uh, the switch does in the back. <laughs> oh, dearie me, dearie me. I'm only 26 and my mind is already, my mind is already failing me. Boy, I never thought we'd get that dried cat food off the ceiling. But hey, you could eat your dinner off that floor now. Great job, ladies. I take back everything I printed about you. Doc and Coulson, I like you. You can marry my sister. Have a 50% discount off a full subscription to the Daily Poodle. What is it with Deadpool and twerking us and smacking that tush? He's got real dairy air fix <laughs> fixation going on there. Agent Coulson, and now do we unlock Jameson? Yes! 
<laughs> oh, for those of you who don't like the Jameson impression, I can only apologise. It's, it's coming out in force now. Every civilian who raises his voice to me is going to get a Jameson to the face. Damn right, Excelsior. Yeah, looks like we only need another, what, 18 bricks? And uh, we should be able to do that dinosaur one in uh, Central Park. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, with that being said, I was looking around the map saying, oh, which, one, which ones of these can I do and uh, to get some more gold bricks? But I could always do these ones now in free play. And uh, unlock some characters and get some more gold bricks. I could be going along and doing that. After all, I don't know. There is there is this thing down here. Don't don't think I don't know about this. It, if it was just studs I needed, then this would be good. But you literally just got to go around the town and just smash everything in sight. And I mean, even when I weren't recording, this was the most boring thing to do. <laughs> it really was. I did not enjoy it. So I'm not going to be uh, doing that unless I absolutely have to. Or maybe I'll wait until the very end. Who knows? Who knows? Right, what should we do? What should we move on doing now? Yeah, we've done a few of these for now. Let's go around. And let's just do some busybody work. Let's just go get some gold bricks, do some races, and just help out some villains and just generally be superheroes. Instead of being a superhero, I am going to be. I'm going to be Daredevil. And I am going to be. Let's, let's get a big character out. Oh, yeah, that guy wanted me to use Curse, didn't he? So. Curse from the Dark World! I don't think you want to say boo to this guy. Oh wait, what am I, <laughs> what am I doing? I, I literally just said it as well, now I've completely forgot. See, my mind is pickled. It's completely pickled. Uh, we are looking for J. Jonah Jameson. Money well spent. Watch it, buddy. Watch it, buddy! I'll tell you to watch it! Watch it, watch it all buddy. the way down the jail! Call the police! This woman's a menace! <laughs> See that voice? <laughs> oh, see, if only Jameson could web swing, eh? What's he throwing at people? Is that... What is that, coffee? Is that... Oh, it's rolls of paper. <laughs> ah, Jameson actually has some abilities. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, well, it looks like we're going to need a, uh, a flying character. Sorry for ever wanting me to use Curse. I need a flying character. It's going to be Falcon. I don't know what way it means we can get some Falcon punches as well going. But this gold brick's on the roof, so it looks like we are going up. Up, 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 and up and away. And that gold brick's even higher. Where is this one? Bingo. Here we are. Oh, oh, no, it looks like this is going to be another one for Ant-Man or Wasp. Oh, actually, no, this is a telekinesis shindig, this is. Uh, Jameson, are you right over there? <laughs> you are right over there, buddy? Looks like you're having a little bit of trouble. Alright, so it looks like we're going to need some of the old telekinesis. Let's get Loki out. Oh, yeah, let's get Loki. Why not? I suppose this would be a perfect time for Professor X, but I'm not sure if he actually can, so... Let's see if we can get... Oh, wait, no. Loki doesn't have a telekinesis, does he? he? He can do mind control, but not telekinesis. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm losing my damn mind. I'm losing my damn mind. This is Gig Galactus. I know he can do the job. I could sit here for ages just running around with different characters until I find one that can do the job. Yeah, Galactus, I know you can do the job. I don't see why you're uh, struggling so much. Maybe you're just too distracted by the awesomeness that is that hat of yours. I wonder how far his telekinesis can actually stretch. Can it go like off camera or will it just drop to the floor? Nope, it, it can go off camera. <laughs> Fantastic, look at that. Now I wonder how far off camera it can go. I mean if I had hours to spend just sitting here holding the, uh, the B button and the directional stick, I wonder how far it could actually stretch. I will be taking that, thank you very much. Right, switch you back to the Falcon. Is it the Falcon or is it just Falcon? I think it's just Falcon. Anyway, where's the next gold brick? I think that was a. Uh, well, it was up in the sky, but not as high as this. This building here looks pretty promising. 
The way Falcon falls, just glides down. Oh, there's some venom goo. I was going to try and find the way in, I guess. Not through there! No, okay. Uh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, <laughs> I don't see anything that we could cut. Terminator. Just because, why not? I do love this character. Even though he can't fly like the other character with the uh, chesticles can. I, I really do like the just the way Terminator looks. For a character I kind of just made on the fly, I, I, I really do quite enjoy him. Alright, let's get... Oh, actually, no, I wonder if Carnage can go through these bits. If Venom can. Let's see if Carnage can as well. <laughs> and he goes through it a bit differently as well. I kind of like that. Or at least I think he does. Carnage is cool, but I mean, when it comes down to it, Carnage pretty much is the exact same character as Venom, he just can't switch forms. He's just basically a different coloured version of Venom. Or at least in this game, obviously not in the comics, they're very different, I know that. Don't kill me <laughs> for saying that. Uh, yeah, back to old Falcon. Where's this next? Oh, so we've got a gold brick, and was that a race down there, or is it a character? Either way, a Falcon is going to investigate. You're a taxi. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't have Jameson out when you shouted that. I just get Jameson stole ramp right back at you. Oh, in actual fact, this is a character. Anything exciting happened while I was out of town? I'm gonna be late. Drive. Okay, <laughs> cutting it short and sweet. I was, uh, I was having a sip of my drink then. Thought I'd have a little bit of time while there was dialogue going on. I think one of the reasons that driving mission didn't work last time as well is because I noticed when editing, I switched to my player two character and then got and then got in the driving seat. So I think that's why he didn't hop. That woman last time didn't hop in. Granted, I did punch her over a fence. That probably didn't help. <laughs> I think it was because I was using my player two character when I got in the car. You want to get to your destination? Jameson gets you your destination quick as a fiddle. How quick as a fiddle? You're just about to find out when Jameson drives you there. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for the ride. The astonishing Cyclops outfit. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. No, I don't like the fact that I had to take you to Marvel HQ. Marvel's good. Marvel's great. There's no Daily Bugle. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the, uh... Where, where's Cyclops? Cyclops, the Astonishing. Oh I'm willing to buy... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm willing to buy a new skin for Cyclops. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. A nice, up-to-date version of Cyclops. Brilliant. Oh, hey -o. Well, as much as I just said I like this brilliant up-to-date version of Cyclops, if we get uh, Terminator out here, I think we can be gaining another gold brick just from destroying all this stuff. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. We'll be picking up all these as well and waste not, want not and all that. Falcon, lead me the way to the rest of them. Check down there. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried hiding one along here somewhere. Da, da, da. So there's a vent there. Didn't I already destroy some of these in like a previous episode? I very distinctly remember destroying a few of these. That'll be six and seven. Oh, 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 I see you in there. Ah, that will be what the vent's for then. That will definitely be what the vent's for. What do we have inside there? Are they all gold statues? Did I have someone mixed Mr. Fantastic and Iron Man? I don't think I did, did I? Gaston, those should be not the name, Frozone. Nope, I did not, I did not. Alright. Apparently, oh no, I was going to say apparently Frozone can uh, go through these grates as well. But then I forgot he's got Mr. Fantastic's ability. I thought it was because, well I suppose he, he has both Loki's and Mr. Fantastic. So if he couldn't go through with uh, Mr. Fantastic, then he could always go through with Loki as well. Just the whole double whammy. Ah, let's grab our Terminator again, why not? Any chance to play as Terminator and I'll take it.
Huzzah! Uh, let's grab that brick before some random <laughs> civilian just comes and picks it up. Hey, look at that! Frozen and boat has both his face and his arms today. Yet yeah, he can't go through the. Uh, you have Mr. Fantastic's ability! Oh, don't be trolling me, Frozone. Don't be trolling me. <laughs> That's the other one. Let's be Wasp. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love the detail with every single character, the way they do it. Yeah. Ah, you're welcome, you're welcome. See, you notice how we get compliments when Jameson isn't out. Just, just saying. <laughs> Right, where should we go next? We're kind of we're just running around in circles a little bit here. Let's let's go get this gold brick at the top here. 